Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroos unit of the week. And today, we're taking a look at the SBA-38R Breda 20mm self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. So, the Breda 20mm was an Italian dual-purpose 20mm cannon which entered into the service in 1935. It would be used as an anti-aircraft gun, but also as an anti-tank weapon during the time in the 30s when auto cannons were deemed effective to destroy enemy tanks. It would mount it into light tanks as well as lightly armored cars. As we see in this example, they mounted it on the back of an SPA-38R, which was a pretty standard Italian truck of the time. And of course, once the Italians switched sides, the Germans would end up capturing some of their equipment and use them themselves on the Italian front. In game, the SBA 38R Breda 20mm is a 45 point self propelled anti aircraft gun available exclusively to the 1st Falschmeager Division, and it has one weapon. The weapon is a Breda 20mm cannon, no surprise there. What is a surprise is that as an anti aircraft gun, you have armor penetration ammunition, which is 324 shots of YAT, and then 648 shots of your regular high explosive shells. Apart from that, it's your pretty standard 20mm. Up down to the miscellaneous stat, it goes 34km off-road, 65km on the road, has medium stealth and normal optics. In battle, the SBA 38R Breda 20mm, that's a very long name, is alright. It's nothing too crazy, it's another axis technical of slapping an anti-aircraft gun on the back of a truck, it's time being of Italian design, however. In terms of its role as an anti-aircraft gun, it's alright, it's a 20mm, you're not going to be able to do too much with it, but you're only paying 45 points, so you kind of get what you pay for. If you have enough of them, you can definitely do a bit of damage to fighter aircraft at flyover, but bombers are not really going to mind being shot at by a 20mm cannon. What does make this unit interesting, however, and why I'm covering this week, is that it's one of the few anti-aircraft units that does have armor penetration shells. And you have quite a lot of those AP shells, it's roughly one third of your ammunition load. Compared to your standard German 20mm autocannon, you do have worse penetration, but you shoot 50% faster, which is quite nice, as with these autocannons, it's not so much about penetration power, I find, but just being able to shoot fast enough to cause critical hits, which is really where the 20mm shine. Now even though you do have a pretty decent autocannon on a dual purpose mount, you're not going to want to use this as a frontline autocannon unit, due to the simple fact is that you're an unarmored truck. Anything, and I mean anything, can kill you, and kill you pretty quickly. So using this thing in an aggressive role just does not really work. You have decent availability for an A phase, A to B phase, and drove and C phase unvetted, and like with a lot of water cannon units, the veteran C doesn't really matter, just take it unvetted. But in terms of actually taking it within the division it's placed in, I, I would kind of give it a pass in all honesty, because yes, this is a fun dual purpose unit, but the rest of the anti-aircraft tab actually has useful anti-aircraft units, and with your anti-aircraft tab, you mainly want to be able to shoot down aircraft in the end of the day. Overall, this is another one of those unit of the reeks where we cover a unit that yep, doesn't really have too much actual practical purpose in the battlefield, but it has a funny little gimmick, and it's another one of those units which is added mainly just due to the historical accuracy of the game. And well, I'm gonna leave it off at yeah, this has been another Rang Rouge unit of the reek. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and usual, please just take it easy.